Hey, yo, what's up, guys? This is a new type of series I'll be doing, um, where I'll be bringing you guys along. Uh, I've played matchmaking a couple of games recently, right? And um, covered in some highlights, and, and I thought, you know, why not make a video on this? Now, I've been kind of peeling more towards the like the higher segment of the Counter-Strike players, right? Like the 3k ELO, 2k ELO kind of players, the level 10s. But um, with this video, I'm also trying to reach the lower levels of the CSGO on a player base. I'm hoping in the future to be doing more of these types of videos. Um, I'll still be doing my uh, same similar edu educational videos, but also now implementing these type of videos. So let's get straight into this video here. Now I noticed that my teammates are dead towards B and we've lost the, lost the bomb towards uh, outside of Mose, right? And I assume they could be here in front of me, so I pull out my gun if they really pushed the quick, which they did. Right? I killed the first guy here. I noticed that the monster pipe is smoked. And with this guy being here, obviously there's a chance that there's someone else close. So I try and check all of these corners here. Um, so no one is here uh, close to me at all, so uh, the next possibility is to be short, obviously. So what I do is I have good pre-aim here, make sure that I pre-aim these positions nicely, lag a bit because my PC is not the best, but no problem. And the reason I go back here all the way is because I notice this smoke has been up for a long time, right? Uh, smokes last like 17 to 18 seconds, I'm not sure of the exact time. Um, but I notice this one's been up for a long time and I'm afraid it's going to fade, that's why I try and go back and hug the barrel behind me here because um, just because as it's fading I want to make sure that no one's fading in it right because that's the meta these days people sit in fading smokes um, but they re-smoke it right so because they re-smoke it okay I'm like my next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and molly it towards wood because the bomb is uh, like outside of the monster pipe right so the more common positions that people will be in is like wood and probably close uh, right to monster so I try to molly wood and also nade it and spam it hoping that I can force the guy coming out and um, get a free kill on that guy I noticed the train is passing by, which is still super annoying, but no problem. Just can't believe they have removed it, but whatever. So I do some nades here. I make sure I check behind me because absolutely nothing is going on. Uh, no one's behind me. I noticed my teammate died on A. Let me also move my cam there. Probably should have done that quicker, but as you guys can see, like if I looked at my map there, I pressed scoreboard, right? And when I press scoreboard, my map gets zoomed out. So I see that my, my teammate died to someone dumpster. So they probably have no one aggressive A. So I'm like, okay, they're all three probably dead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lurk smoke out right here like this and I do this because I know for a fact that they're probably close right because the bomb is like um, close but we can grab it without them seeing if they're not close to it um, so I try and pre-aim these fences here right like above there and on the right I know I'm trying to look at what my teammates doing I'm like okay we can slowly work out now the reason I throw this smoke also is because I single out these duels right so if I get this duel if the guy's on the right side like I think he is um, I want to prevent the guy on the left to be able to swing out and trade me right so I throw the smoke to be able to work out get the bomb but also clear this gun that I uh, clear nicely Nicely, so I do that, I get that kill, and the reason I jump on top of the kind of the the pipe roof there, if that's what you want to call it, is um, this is a left eye peak, right? So if I just kind of shift into this angle, I'm dead for sure, and if I strafe super wide, I make a lot of sound, right? So the reason I jump here is to kind of disorientate him, make sure that he doesn't have an easy kill on me, and that's what I do, right? As you guys can see, like, I walk up here, I jump, and I'm like super quick as I jump, like my velocity is max, so that's nice. I noticed that my teammate died to the upper, and like what's common for uppers to be doing is like upping pillar. Right, and if I quickly look at my map as well, um, my teammate Green, he died like in a position where he can only have died from kind of water headshot, like barrel or pillar. So I kind of, I'm sure, like certain that the guy is pillar because that's like super common for upper stop as well. So as I walk out, that's what I pre-aim here. I get that kill. I'm getting shot at by this guy close to me in the smoke. Now I don't know where he's going. So I'm just trying to uh, spam him back. And now I hear him like towards short. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's fake step, so I take this chance to get the bomb, right? Then I fake step myself, and I'm really careful about it, because it could have been fake steps, and it could be right next to me, right in front of me. So that's why I'm like, kind of jiggling, pre-aiming properly here. And then I hear him reload, right? So what I do is I pull out the bomb, instantly try and get the up, right? And fake the plant here, flat and fake the tap, and swing out and kill him that way, right? Because I know, like, exactly as I'm about to... Um, the plant the bomb, uh, there's a big chance that it's going to be running out, right? And I had one bullet in up, so I had to make sure I hit that shot. And the way I peeked it out, I made sure that, you know, I didn't peek out in a way where I would only, like, show my shoulder and make it easy for him to kind of kill me, right? I peeked out swinging, uh, it took my time with the shot. Not really, I was kind of quick about it, I should have taken my time a bit. Um, but yeah, I peeked out full wide so he couldn't react too fast and uh, make sure I uh, finished him off. And just like that, I clutched around, I think one versus three maybe, um, I also aced it. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to, you know, 
I try, I try to like bring you guys with me in my thoughts, uh, kill by kill, second by second, um, doing, uh, trying to explain exactly what I'm doing in these rounds. And it being matchmaking, I'm not in the exact serious mood I am, like I would be in kind of face it and you know official match practice, whatever. Um, and I have a lot more interesting clutches on face it, so let me know if you guys find that interesting. These type of videos, I'll make sure to upload more. And by the way, sorry about the radar. I hope it's that that's not a, too big of a problem, uh, and I'll make sure for the next videos that I'll change that. Um, start of the video thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next video